The National Landlords Association NLA Today 19 September called for the housing minister to rethink plans to cap security deposits to one month's rent. Richard Lambert, CEO of the NLA, met with the Minister of State for Housing and Planning Alok Sharma MP, impressed him scrap the plans that will form part of the draft tenants' fees bill that was announced earlier this year at the Queen's speech. Building the evidence case data derived from more than 20,000 ESTs created using the NLA's website indicates that the average deposit of those landlords taking a deposit is currently 4.92 weeks' rent. There is no evidence to suggest that landlords are charging unnecessarily high security deposits. The NLA believes that imposing an arbitrary cap on security deposits of one month's rent would have unintended consequences, which could be damaging to certain groups of prospective tenants. It could also have the counterproductive effect of reducing some households' abilities to secure suitable accommodation in the sector. The NLA Quarterly Research Panel recently found that almost a third 32 percent of landlords had experienced property damage due to the actions of a tenant in the last 12 months. This was higher for landlords who led to LHA claimants 53 percent and recipients of other benefits 56 percent. As such, if landlords operating in certain markets are not confident in their ability to mitigate the financial impact that the higher likelihood of property damage could entail then they may move away from offering properties to the riskier tenant groups. While not the intention, the government's plans for imposing this ornament cap on security deposits could also reduce landlords' willingness to accept tenants' requests to modify tenancy conditions and agreements. An example would be to allow tenants to keep pets at the property. A one-month's rent cap would reduce landlords' willingness to allow pets by removing their flexibility to take a higher deposit to cover for pet damage. Previous research from the NLA showed that almost half 47 percent were unwilling to allow pets, with 41 percent of those citing the reason as potential property damage. Instead of this cap, the upcoming draft tenants' fees bill should be used to provide more innovative solutions that appreciate the reasons landlords require deposits while also improving tenants' ability to move around in the sector. For example the government should be looking to allow passporting of undisputed deposits between tenancies and providing funding for government-backed deposit schemes to help vulnerable households. Read download the full NLA briefing on removing the deposit cap below. Other topics discussed at the meeting included the impact of landlord taxation changes and the damage that the Section 24 tenant tax will do to the sector, landlords and tenants alike the upcoming letting fees banned, and why landlords should be allowed to charge a small reference segregate check fee to cover costs, how the government can encourage landlords to offer longer tenancies by removing the barriers they face, namely the expense and time it takes to regain possession when a tenant stops paying rent.